Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. You are watching episode four of the Evernote for Student series. And in today's video, we're going to do something very exciting and look at the ways that you can clip into Evernote. Now we've discussed a lot of different things in the previous episodes. We've discussed notebook creation. We've discussed uh, creating the perfect note for when you're taking notes uh, effectively. So for exams or, or revision. And we're also discussing the ways to clip your information. Now it's important across your day when you're doing certain bits of research or certain bits of, um, you know, like, like if you're just researching for jobs or whether you're looking at other things like that, it's important to be able to clip all that. Uh, you could be doing something for a society and need to store all of these little links or information. So in today's video, we're actually gonna show you a Chrome extension. Now I'm gonna include all of the links in the description to download the Chrome extension, we're going to focus only on the Chrome extension today, but we're going to talk about other formats in other videos in how you can clip in stuff. But for today's video, the Chrome extension will do. So this is a piece of work I am working on at the moment. Um, it is something that I've finished and handed in, so it's uh, you can't copy it, guys. Um, but let's say I'm doing a little bit of research for it. So let's say I'm finding out the definition of globalization. And now uh, let's just skip past Wikipedia. Let's say I go for this uh, United Nations uh, piece, which looks like a PDF uh, online. Now, a lot of you guys would uh, probably download them and then maybe write down all the information and put it in for the cite me thing, which basically takes all your references. But if you actually wanted to store this note, um, then this Chrome extension comes in handy. So you can either press it or you can click the save PDF button. This will basically capture the PDF. At the top, you can rename it. So this is obviously an economic globalization trends. Uh, save it as a PDF. Uh, change and choose the project folder you want it in. So this is my personal one. So I would want it for STO 300, I believe it is. Um, and I can tag in certain things. So if I wanted to, I could have it for revision. Let's just put it as a revision side. You can add any remarks as well. And there are some options. You can actually modify this here. I wouldn't necessarily on your first try. But let's say you want to save the entire PDF. So the entire PDF will come up in Evernote. You can also share a screenshot. So if it's something specific, like a graph inside of there, you can actually screenshot it. So you can just, there we go. And it does a lovely little photo. Uh, no, that's the highlight button. I really apologize. And you could highlight stuff in your text and go over it. Um, and you can also do this inside of the Evernote for Mac as well. Uh, you can also label it, so I don't want that to be in there, um, or I want that to be in there, like that. Um, anyway, all of these are a great way to uh, coordinate all of your efforts. One of the things that you can do is to exit, let's go there, but if you want to save this one as a PDF uh, on its own, then you can easily do that. Let me just change this one here, and uh, just change the title quickly, and then we'll go into Evernote and we'll actually see what it looks like. So as you can see, it's syncing here uh, and it just says it's clipped. The cool thing you can do before you close it up is you can actually share the note to any of these services. So you can actually share the URL, you can actually share the uh, into any of the other social networks. And you can also set a reminder too, uh, which is quite cool. So if you've got a class on this tomorrow and you want to look super smart and you want to read the PDF before the lecture starts, then you've got it here, which is quite nice. Uh, it's a neat way to do it. But anyway, let's jump over to my Evernote and just see what it looks like. Um, let me just... Uh so there we are, as you can see, it has been saved in my reminders on STO and it's also made the PDF inline, which is great. So if you've got Mac or Windows, it will do this. If you've got an iPhone or an Android phone, it will do this partly. So you can actually view it. Uh, one thing you can do is if you want to quick view it, you can just jump to there or you can actually open it in preview, which is nice, uh, or actually download it there, which is pretty cool. But let's say you're going to a certain website, a specific website about economics. So let's just say I took that and clicked that information. Let's say I wanted to go economics online, which is could be a really awesome site um, and might put me to sleep here. But let's say I just wanted to take all of the information from here, not necessarily read it, but download it and actually keep it for later so that maybe I can read it on a bus and I don't have to go to that article. If you clip, uh, press the button, Evernote button, it will clip the actual article only without all of these ads on the side. Uh, you can have a simplifying article which like makes it look like a uh, Financial Times journal. Or you can actually clip the full page if you want all of the lovely ads on the side. Um, you can also bookmark it so it would just look like this or actually do the thing I did earlier in screenshot, um, which is pretty neat. Again, you can organize the tag and notebook 
uh, and it saves automatically. So if I simplified this and saved it straight, actually STO, there we go. If it saves it straight into it, I named it globalization on its own. But if I go back to the Evernote and I just refresh, it should be that. So here we go, yeah, there's the full article there. And it even gives you the reference. So if you ever need it uh, really quickly, you can click information. You can actually find the exact site that it references back to how many words it's got as well and characters and all that sort of jazz. Uh, and, and you can edit it like you would anything here. They're, they're not locking it for you, which is good. And you can share it out like you would there. Anyway, guys, I thought I'd show you some of the basic clipping. Uh, I will go into more detail in another video on the like details of the clipping. But I hope this video was useful. Uh, I'll include the link to download the Chrome extension. I'll include some of the other extensions that it works on as well. But I'm looking forward to sharing a few more videos like this. Episode 5 will be very interesting. Uh, the information for that will be in the description below. But it will be coming out very soon. So stay tuned to more Evernote for Student series. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, do subscribe. I put out regular videos. And I hope you enjoy your week. Make sure to have a great week. Keep it up to and I'll see you guys very, very soon, guys. Cheers.